Hey, what's going on guys? Archer Mark here. I'm back with another Star Wars figure review. And as promised, I have the second of the two uh, Genosis Arena Jedi Battle Packs. Uh, I, sh I showed you the, the first one in my last video. And I said I had both packs and I, this is the second one. And again, it's another great pack. I think this one is a little cooler. Uh, the Jedi are a little more uh, unique, a little more interesting. Uh, so again, four figures, three Jedi, one clone trooper, and we'll get up, we'll show you those figures in a little bit. Again, we'll show you the packaging. Uh, you got Star Wars logo, the Toys R Us only sticker, uh, the Darth Vader image there on the top. And I showed this in the other video, so we'll go a little quicker. Uh, Hasbro, Aegis Four and Up, Warning Choking Hazard. Uh, Battle of Geonosis Jedi Pack, and there's the, the four names. Which I'll read those in a moment. And we're gonna flip it around. The sides and the bottom are the same, so we'll flip it around and get again. Here's your images of the four Jedi, and we have Qui Mars Redath. Wow. We have Kate Quinn, and this is. Selig Hengen. I'm definitely probably pronouncing those wrong, but oh well. Uh, doing my best. And we have Clone Captain Devis. So, really cool. Again, Hasbro, StarWars.com. Here's an image of the other battle pack that I showed in my last video. Okay, little bio here. Uh, when Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Padme are captured by Separatists, on Geonosis, a group of Jedi comes to their rescue. A fierce battle ensues as the Jedi are confronted by Geonosian warriors and battle droids. The Jedi ignite their lightsabers and face the hostile forces of the as the battle spills out of the Rito, out, out of the arena, and onto the Geonosian landscape. Okay, we'll just set that back there. And again, four great figures. Uh, the clone troopers again. Is like in the other video you saw. Uh, it's kind of an, a little bit of an older mold, but it's, it's still a pretty good mold for a figure, I think. And the three Jedi again. The thing I like about these packs is they're they're characters that, for the most part, have not been done before. At least to my knowledge, have not been done in figure form. And if they have, then uh, probably have been in need uh, of an update. Okay. And this is, again, this is, I like this pack a little bit more than the first. They're just a little more interesting. Uh, we'll start with this guy. This is, let's see. Is this Qui Mars Redath? Wow. The weirdest names. And this guy is just really cool looking. I mean, look at that face sculpt. There's so much detail. I'm turning around here and I'll give you a look at the back. He's got his little like head tail things, the little braids there. Okay. Now again the Jedi robes, pretty basic for Jedi robes. You know, pants are kind of like a grayish color. But we have that light, light beige. You know, you got the brown belt with you know little pouches and little paints of silver, brown boots. So fairly basic. Uh, just basic green lightsaber and we'll give you a look here See, again underneath just more of the same uh, you notice with the, the joints and this is true of all the Jedi in this pack uh, they're they're well painted so they're they're a little bit more hidden uh, than we've seen in the past with some other figures which is always great when they do that when they don't paint the joint the same color as the outfit just makes the joint stand out and it's just it just looks bad but they did that on all of these uh, you'll see here he this this guy comes with an outer robe it's a nice soft material cloth cloth robe and the hood it's a little tough to get over this uh, head tail thing but it does fit over the head but it's very nicely uh, I could show you better on one of the other figures here uh, it's done really nice and they 
Hasbro seems to have solved that problem of, of the robes being just way too big. The hoods looked ridiculous. The sleeves were way too bulky. Uh, but they seem to have got it right this time. And hopefully they can continue that. Uh, I don't want to see these giant robes anymore. You know, it was nice to have them. But they just looked ridiculous if you wanted to put the hoods on. But they have definitely worked that out on these figures. Uh, so, you know, overall, great detailing, uh, great paint apps on these guys. Uh, like with the other pack, the articulation for all the Jedi is the same. So, I'll go over just once. I'll just do it with this guy. You have a ball joint neck, ball and shoulders, ball and elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball and knees, and ball and ankles. So, great articulation. You get some pretty good poses. Um, if I didn't mention this in the other pack, I would... Have liked to have seen ball jointed hips uh, on these guys, uh, just because you know you can get little better, more acrobatic kind of poses. You know, Jedi will kind of flip around and whatnot. Uh, so I'm always in favor of ball jointed hips when it comes to Jedi or Sith characters. Uh, now we have this character is Hyatt Quinn, which is pretty cool. This is a female Jedi, which is we don't see a lot of. Well, we do, but, uh, you know, it's nice that they, you know, the, the, the female Jedi I've seen would be like Shock T and Ayla Sakura and stuff like that. Uh, these are characters in the background, you know, that we didn't get too much footage of them. But it's nice that they threw in uh, female and male characters and alien characters. They gave us a, they gave us a nice mix. And, you know, she's got, you know, a little bit different, a little darker brown. With the, the beige pants and the brown boots. You know, so changing it up a little bit. And again, here you see the robe. She also obviously features a cloth outer robe. It's a nice soft material. It flows well. And you see the hood, which is not... It's not overly sized. You know, you could move it around a little bit, pose it uh, however you like. But you can get to fit on that head. It's much better than what we've seen in the past. Of course, it is removable. I'm not going to, for you know, time restraints, I'm not going to bother removing the robes. Uh, but they are removable, of course. And she's got, you know, nice head sculpt. A little bit of the ponytail in the back. Okay. So you're getting that. She's got that little thing up here holding her hair. Face sculpt, you know, it's not bad. She's not the uh, best looking person in the world, but oh well. They're warriors. But again, nice detailing. You can see the little bits of paint, silver on the belt. Just to put that little extra bit of detail on there. Which is great. Okay. Uh, pretty standard, just regular basic green lightsaber. Uh, but, that's, but that's fine. Again, it's not about the green, a green lightsaber. Just, I don't know. I always like that. I, uh, it just seems more Jedi-like to me. I don't know. You know, blue is more traditional, but green just seems uh, more Jedi-like. Now we have this guy, which I think is really cool. This is Selig Hengen, and cool guy. He's got he's featuring the, the two lightsabers doing that double double handed lightsaber uh, which we do see in the movie. Obviously we see Anakin do it later on fighting Count Duco. But if you look in the background of the arena battle, there is a character fighting with with two lightsabers that is dual wielding lightsabers. You have to look uh, whenever I watch the movie, it's always fun to look in the background to look at other the other guys in the, you know, they sort of blend in in the back. Uh, but it's fun to see, uh, you know, take a look next time you watch Attack of the Clones and you see some like some cool stuff that guys were doing in the background, and you do see a guy with two lightsabers a couple of times. You could, if you look, you'll see doing some cool moves there. So you know, again, nice face sculpt. Uh, you know, he's got the darker brown robes and, you know, tan pants, brown boots, you know, you know, not 
overly exciting, but still, you know, basic Jedi. And again, show you, you know, hair sculpted well, and the and the belt, and you got the little pouches just like the other figures. Uh, again, there you see the hinge joints are are painted well, so they're a little more hidden. And you see it on the shoulder and the elbows. Okay. Uh, both lightsabers, again, very basic, but he has one blue, one green. And, I don't know, it looks really cool. And, you know, if you're doing a kind of Geonosis uh, arena display in your room or on your shelf, uh, the, these figures would be great to just put in there, just have all kinds of different uh, characters fighting this guy doesn't want to stand up more prop him up there because he doesn't want to stand up uh here is the clone trooper uh just like the the figure in the other this is clone clone captain devis um it's the same the same mold as the other figure in the other pack just with the red flashes of paint all along the arms and the hands and of course the helmet and the chest pretty basic but it does the job for a clone trooper uh, I pointed this out in the other video the two flaws the two kind of mistakes that they put out uh, you see the shoulder joint there is painted white not red like the rest of the uh, arm and on the ankle joints, uh, they are white and not black the way I believe they should be. It comes with two accessories, two weapons. You have the smaller blaster pistol, which we've seen many times, but they did put the little bit of silver painting on there. And then you have the bigger blaster rifle. And again, little flashes of silver paint. So that's nice that they put that there. It's, again, the weapons, they're... Nicely sculpted and nicely painted in this case. Um, you know, we've seen these weapons many, many times before, but it, they're clone troopers. They, they need their guns. Got to take out those clankers. Uh, articulation, same as the, the clone on the other pack. Ball drawing neck, ball and shoulders, ball and elbows, uh, swivel wrist, ball drawing the torso, swivel hips, ball and knees, and ball and ankles. So there is your clone trooper for this pack. And overall, again, it's a great pack. Again, if you're if you're a fan of Jedi Knight like I am, if you like to collect Jedi, then this pack is for you. Get, this guy doesn't want to stand up again. Uh, there goes his gun. Well, anyway, uh, for the most part, they do stand up pretty well despite what you just saw there. Uh, it's just a little difficult doing it with one hand, but this is, again, a great pack, I think. Very worth the money. And, you know, three Jedi, one little clone trooper thrown in there. I'm sure we have many other clones uh, from the past. Over, year, over the years, there have been so many clone figures put out. But definitely a great pack. I think it's absolutely worth it. Uh, the figures are well articulated and painted and sculpted. Good accessories. So, uh, Toys R Us only, but they're hitting the store shelves I've seen. And you can I got these from uh, ToysRUs.com, so you can just order them right there. Just have them delivered to your door. So, uh, that works as well. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, as usual, comment, rate, subscribe. And until my next video, may the Force be with you.